see that's how it works so the takeaway point here is that the for loop allows you to go into a list and make changes to each element within the list hmm. I hope that made sense so why are we learning this so why are we learning this because we need to put a list of pictures names into the box so now this is what we're going to do I'm going to start with an empty file from the picture folder and do exactly that we're going to take all the names of the files inside the folder and put them into a list box first I tell the computer which programming language we're using uh, Python obviously we import TK into library we import the OS library and we import the string library once we have the libraries imported we create a window called root like always we put the root into the main loop once we have done this we create a list box we make the list box with a height of um, 20 that should be big enough we call the list box mm, mm, box now we pack the list box into the window okay now that we have created the window and we have created the list box we need to use the OS tools to get the file names inside the folder so it would be OS now it would be list directory yeah the current directory we'll call that list uh, list so once we get the names for each item inside the list we're going to put it or insert it into the list box so with this it will take all the file names inside the folder and then put it into a list box let's try to run it notice that everything include the programs and the folders are being printed out so we know it's working however we don't want that for our program we only want to be clicking on the pictures right now we have the pictures and the programs and the folders so we need to get rid of them so how do we do that we will have to use the string library we learned from the last class to check if it's a picture or if it's a program how am I going to do this exactly I am going to try to find dot gif inside the string item if it's inside it I will add it to the list box remember from the last class that if we don't find dot gif it will return a negative one if we do it will return us a positive number this is why I use the greater than zero if it's greater than zero it means dot gif is inside it and therefore it's a picture so by adding this condition we are only putting the pictures inside the list so let's try to run the program and see it notice how we only have files that ends with dot gif well that's exactly what we want so only the pictures are in there now as a final step I want to take out the dot gif as well we only want to see the names we don't need dot gif there so how do you strip dot gif hmm well do you remember the command strip from the string library you basically take out the unwanted string inside a word for our case we want to take away the dot gif so I will type item equals to item with dot gif stripped away it's pretty easy remember in order for you to use strip command you must include string library the string library now let's try to run the program and see if it works good job okay huh, I think that worked pretty well notice how all the dot gif are stripped away 
Now that's kind of the point. So anyways, this is how you manipulate the names to put it inside the list box. So today we learn quite a bit. Let's see, we learn how to get individual elements inside a list uh, by putting the index number in it. Then we learn how to print it out using a for loop. Then we learn the range command that creates a list of numbers for us. And lastly, we put the list of pictures into our list box. Hmm, that's, I guess, quite a bit. So for your homework, I want you to print out all the programs instead of the pictures. So instead of .gif, try to print out the .py files. This should be pretty easy. So we're almost 